What's up guys, Claudia here and this is gonna be a somewhat different video than the usual ones because just recently there was a video posted by Vespa, I'm not quite sure where because they have taken it off and then it was reposted and then taken off again so right now it's not available but anyway it was like a report given by the CEO about things uh, in 2019 and also things that they have planned for 2020. Sadly now all of the videos are down and I could only get like uh, some pictures which are here on the Facebook group, the King of Zed International group. I thought it would be interesting to talk about this. I have managed to watch a little bit of the video, but sadly it was in Korean and I'm scrub, I do not speak Korean at all. So I had to rely on Google's auto translate under the YouTube video. And yeah, <laughs> that resulted in some really weird uh, translations. But let's get to see what, what we actually have here. So this is a picture of Orville, I believe. It looks like Orville. Um, or that mana plant. But I, I think it might be Orville. And it looks quite destroyed. But it might be the Techno Magic Kingdom, so I'm not sure here. Nevertheless, um, chapter 10 is coming and there is a new hero um, that they will introduce, poor girl without arms. But this tattoo here is quite interesting because this seems to be the same that Chase has. So this might be another super soldier, much more like Chase himself. We will see, so Hilda. Then there is a new sub-boss called Isolette. She looks like a Dark Ophelia. I kind of like these kind of clothes, looks cool. But again, we do not have any info on her. And then there was mention of the room or house building feature, which they started to develop, but didn't quite have the resources to do it well. So it was put on hold. It's not quite certain yet whether it's on hold or, or, or completely scrapped. But for now, we won't be getting any of it. Um, maybe in the future. Unless somebody watched the video and understands Koran, maybe they can comment on this. And also on the on the Koran signs on the pictures, because sadly I cannot read them. Now moving on, there are some UI changes. This looks alright, I guess a bit more modern than the current ones. Uh, maybe this is some sort of tower with the enemies, or other than other than that, I'm not sure how we could have like two castles here. Again, someone with Korean, please translate. Um, another, yeah, the classes are all, <laughs> all over as people are commenting and there are duplicates here. So again, if somebody can comment on what these are other than maybe it's just showcasing the UI. Um, one more of that. And then another sub boss uh, called Grammary, who is quite obviously a demon and it has a quite weird hair stuff to her. Is that like her front? Yeah, that looks like her front. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, um, I think they mentioned that the chapter 10 is for August, which is still quite a bit off. I hope that it would come sooner. Uh, moving on, the ferry system now. As the CEO guy um, explained that they had originally planned to do the dispatch battles through the uh, ferry system, but then they weren't really making progress with the ferries and just decided to split the two things uh, apart. So we got the dispatch system and at some point we will be getting um, the ferries too. So they are still working on it, it's not scrapped. It's just not quite there yet where they want it to be. But these are some images that they had to show in that um, uh, video that he was showing or pictures that he was showing. Well, looks cute, I guess. And then there are also pets, which is interesting. Now, this seems to be one pet going through some sort of evolution phase there. So I guess that's also something that we can expect. Um, after the dragon there are also some cats, which we can see here. And um, let's see, well yeah, fiery cat, <laughs> that looks cute. And this is like a grumpy cat, so I really like this one. Um, more of the UI, this looks pretty neat actually, and you can see the costumes here and stuff. But again, so much Korean, sorry, <laughs> I do not understand. Uh, this seems a bit messed up too, because this is Luna here, definitely. Although that weapon, I don't think that looks like Luna's weapon. But that this here, this is phrase uh, talent. 
or or perk uh, page so yeah how did they do that i'm not quite sure but this looks kind of cool down here moving on again some ui thing this is like a tower maybe or well not quite sure what these are maybe like login rewards or something uh somebody please korean again <laughs> again some reward thing um and then something that's really really cool i think is shakme uh kane's brother who will be a new raid boss i'm not quite sure when we can expect him to be released but from the info i saw it seems like he will be fighting with two teams one is for melee and the other is for ranged classes and maybe you can control like two characters or just one team and the other is auto i guess we will find out later but this looks pretty cool um, and there was some mention of a sun and the night mode maybe if this is for shakmeh or not i'm not quite sure there are the debuffs that we saw in um uh, orwell dungeon under the castle so uh, the labyrinth sorry it was in the labyrinth maybe this will have similar effects that every now and then it will change what kind of things he does i'm not sure and yeah this is the ceo who was talking and there are lots of lunas around him not quite sure why this picture was taken one more picture of the room itself and some more cuteness and then we are back to the initial picture now in the introduction which i watched um, he spoke about the challenges of 2019 for instance the frustration of dealing with the issues with the client uh, the disconnects the crashes that was also very very hard for them to support because um, um, yeah a lot of new features were added the client grew pretty big it's like over five gigs now i believe and then he he expressed some frustration with trying to tweak it to make it function not crash not have the disconnect so that's uh, definitely something they want to improve on that he mentioned he spoke at some time about um uh, the team level how it stops giving you stamina at like 130 or so and that the idea here was that um old players would have too big of an advantage over newer players if it kept giving stamina so that's shut down after a while however they still want to give some rewards like maybe costumes or accessories to this and that's something they are still considering also artifacts that some players who have been playing for like the three years that uh, king's raid has been around have some really high level artifacts while new players are struggling to get them that's somewhat true if you are not blessed by rng or don't throw a lot of gold at uh, gold i mean real life money not gold but well you could try with gold uh, at the game then you you won't have really good artifacts i saw that when i was playing my noob account that like oh god how do i get an artifact that works in this content or that content so he spoke at length about that that they are wondering how to deal with that also like how to make it simpler to acquire uh unique weapons i believe and maybe soul weapons and he pointed out the orwell celebration event so those were his main points i believe um again sadly the video was taken down so i couldn't watch it at full uh, at the full length and also it was in korean so i couldn't uh, really get more out of it so that's it for now i believe um if you guys watched it and know some more info feel free to leave them in the comments below also if you can read the korean i would be really really uh, glad if you could explain some of these screenshots that that i found on the king's raid page on facebook um and yeah let me know what you think are you looking forward to shakmech are you looking forward to chapter 10 to the new heroes what you guys think also if you could feel free to like and subscribe that helps with the youtube algorithm and helps me make more videos or at some point it will maybe anyway that's been cloudy for now uh, see you at the next video bye bye